So between 2007 and 2008, Olympia, Washington grew almost 3% to a population of 245,000. If this rate were to continue, uh, when will the population reach 400,000? Now earlier, we used this first piece of information to write an explicit exponential equation that looked like, like this, where n we defined as years after 2007, because then p sub 0, the initial value, would correspond to 2007. Oh, hold on, grew to a population of tw uh, 245, so that's actually incorrect. This should be 2008, since the population was 245,000 in, uh, 2000, in 2008. Okay, so let's see if we can answer this question now. Now, earlier we had made a prediction for what the population would be some year later. This time, what we're looking for is when. So what we, we're, we're looking for is the n, the how many years is it going to take, uh, until the population is 400,000. So this 400,000 is a value for the population. So we know that the population is 400,000. Everything here is in thousands, which is why I'm not bothering to write the thousands. 1.03 to the n. Now we're going to need to solve this exponential equation for the exponent. Uh, and in order to do this, we're going to need logarithms. Now the first thing we're going to do, though, is get this exponential by itself. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 245 so that we get down to uh, 400 equals 1.03 to the n. Now at this point, we are going to use logarithms. So we are going to take the logarithm or apply the logarithm function to both sides of the uh, equation. So we're going to have log of, sorry, I'm missing something there, log of 400 over 245, right, because we divided both sides by 245 here. Uh, so we're going to take the log of 400 over 245, and that's going to equal the log of 1.03 to the n. Now the reason we're doing this is because there is this really cool log rule which says the log of a number to a power is the same as that n exponent times the log of, of our number. Now that's not going to affect the left side of our equation here. But on the right hand side, we're going to be able to take that n and bring it down multiplying in front of the logarithm. So we're going to have n log 1.03. Now, instead of n being in the exponent, n is just multiplying this log, which means we can solve for n uh, just by dividing by the log of uh, 1.03. So we're going to divide by the log of 1.03, and there is our answer. n equals that mess there. And you're probably saying, well, that doesn't do me a lot of good. I don't know what the heck that mess is. Okay, you're right. So let's see if we can come up with a number here. Uh, so we're going to pull out our calculator, and the first thing I'm going to do is figure out this one over here. So I'm going to take 400 divided by 245 is 1.632, roughly. And now I'm going to take the log of that, and I get 0.213, roughly. Um, so that's, that was, that was 0.213. And then over here, we're going to take 1.03, take the log of that, that's about 0.0128, and then we can divide by that on both sides, and we get n is, let's see here, 0.213 divided by 0.0128 is 16.64, and remember that's years after 2008, so that ends up being about the year 2024.